If you guys need any FIFA 22 coins, make sure you check out IGVault.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a nice 6% extra discount. So what's going on guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at the new title update for FIFA 22. It is not out on the consoles at the time of recording, uh, but we're going to be reading through the patch notes and I'm going to be giving you my opinion on how this update could potentially ruin the game. Now this is not a hate video, it's just me you know, spreading awareness and giving you guys some information regarding the update uh, because EA don't always explain things too well. And for some Someone that's played FIFA for many years, I know very well that EA can potentially mess up the game with the first patch because they've done it pretty much every year. But anyway guys, I'm not going to try and waste too much of your time, so let's just get right into it and look at these pitch notes and break them down because I immediately see a few problems with them just from looking at them. Okay guys, so here we go. The first change is that they've reduced the effectiveness of goalkeepers when diving for top corner shots taken from inside the penalty box. The change specifically applies to shots taken within 37 feet of the goalkeeper. Now this is one of the few good updates that I've found because obviously if you're taking a shot inside the box and you're hitting it top corner there's not much else you can do. A keeper should not be saving them the majority of the time and they've specifically said the area in which this will be affected. My problem with this is and I'll tell you this throughout the video is they don't specify how much they've reduced the effectiveness. You know what percentage? Now as somebody that has studied computer science for over seven years I can tell you this whenever there is a game of chance such as FIFA you know when you take a shot there is a chance that it will go in and there is a chance that it isn't in order to reduce the effectiveness that something will go in you have to change the variable you have to change the percentage that it will be successful for example let's say there is a variable called goalkeeper high corner shots in order to reduce the effectiveness of goalkeepers saving those high corner shots you would have to change that number and decrease it you'd have to decrease that percentage so what have you decreased that percentage by you know saying you've reduced the effectiveness is not very specific my point is it's all good saying that you're going to reduce the effectiveness of something but what does that actually mean because it seems really good on paper but we can't really judge that because we don't know how it's been decreased another issue is that this is the only update that has affected shooting inside the box really and a big problem with shooting in FIFA 22 and the problem with goalkeepers is not always the top corner shots it's to do with you know when you've got those point blank chances you're not going to try and hit that top corner it's not worth the risk any normal player would just hit that and it should score a keeper should not have the reflexes most of the time to be able to save that let's say you cut the ball back and hit the ball first time even if the shot is not directly in the corner the keeper should have a low chance of saving that because it would require incredible reflexes that if that save got pulled off in real life it would be deemed as a wonder save because the keeper has to take a gamble you know when the ball is hit with that much pace from such a short distance you have to kind of guess which way it's going to go. Now a direct contradiction to this update is the change to high finesse shots. We've just read how they're trying to decrease the effectiveness of keepers saving those high corner shots from inside the box and I know that finesse shots are broken from outside the box but this doesn't specify outside the box. So they've added keeper animations that can help the keeper make those high saves when it comes to finesse shots. Now that is fine outside the box. But when you've just said there's an update trying to decrease the goalkeeper effectiveness of those high shots inside the box, this is a direct contradiction because it basically means finesse shots inside the box will probably be useless. And the main issue with finesse shots is that inside the box they're completely useless. You know, the areas in which they should probably be used, they can't be used because the keepers save them every time. The problem with the keepers when it comes to finesse shots outside the box is that they don't move across. The thing with the finesse shot is that it's not as fast as a normal power shot, so the keeper does have time to adjust his positioning. But if you take a look at any example in FIFA 22, the keeper just doesn't move. So instead of just adding some animations, which we still don't know what they are, you know, you could have just fixed the goalkeeper's positioning and the chances that these finesse shots go in from outside the box would be drastically reduced. They also use the term very slightly increases again when it came to goalkeepers saving this type of shot. And as we've discussed, that is not an actual number. What does that mean? I don't know. I just don't think they're being specific enough, to be honest with you. So now let's take a look at the changes to the referees, something that I do hate in FIFA 22 as well. The first thing is that it says there is improved referee logic to call more fouls caused by high velocity tackles. My problem with this is that you can't really choose the velocity of a slide tackle for example you know you can only really press square and if you win
win the ball, you win the ball. I don't see why high velocity has to be an issue. If you win the ball, you win the ball. Now, they've also said they've improved the referee logic to call for fewer penalty kicks caused by reasonably timed slide tackles. If a tackle is reasonably timed, you should not have to say you're going to give fewer penalty kicks. You should say there should be no penalty kicks because if you've timed a tackle, it's not a penalty. You've also just said you're going to call more fouls for high velocity tackles. So if you're sliding with speed inside the box and even win the ball and it is a timed tackle, does that mean you're going to give a penalty anyway? They also said there is improved referee logic to call more fouls in situations where a player purposefully collides with a goalkeeper that is holding the ball. I don't really have a problem with that one, to be honest. And there is improved referee logic to call for fewer fouls due to soft physical contact. Again, that is a good thing. I'm glad they've changed that. Other than this, they've made some positive defensive changes such as, you know, improvements to manual defending where, you know, if somebody is making a pass or a shot and you slide to block it, you have a higher chance of retrieving the ball. But other than that, the changes that they've made seem to be pretty minor in the scheme of things and I don't want to make the video like three hours long by going through it all. I'm also not going to go through all of the things that they have addressed because it's not part of the update. When EA say they have addressed something it means we hear you but we're not going to do anything about it right now because we can't be bothered basically. My main issue with this update is that they are focusing on the gameplay mechanics which as a whole have been improved quite a lot in my opinion. I think FIFA 22 is a much more balanced game but they haven't addressed the game breaking bugs such as the second half glitch where in the second half you try and tackle an opponent and the game just completely lags out. I've made a whole video on this and it still hasn't been fixed. Like a lot of people have this issue too. They also haven't fixed a glitch when it comes to free kicks where the game can go on for like three hours because your player just won't take the kick or someone else will go and take it and it messes up the whole game. They haven't fixed the issue where sometimes your player will just stand still with the ball and you can't do anything with them. And they also haven't fixed the issue with penalties where the screen goes completely blurry and you can't even see what you're doing. My point is there's so many things that should have taken priority in order to make sure that the game was actually fully functioning and they've just ignored it in this update and focused on things that could have waited for a slightly later date. I also think the things they've changed have not been specific enough like we don't actually know what has changed. We don't know what the animations are for goalkeepers for example. We don't know the effectiveness of finesse shots after the patch and I think they've tried to cover up the issues by you know adding some weird fixes opposed to actually covering up the core issue like why are finesse shots flying in the top corner all the time instead of let's make the keepers get to those corners. Another issue I always have with updates on FIFA is that they seem to change the game completely like the game will start to feel slower, heavier, everything that wasn't even meant to be changed in the update will feel like it's been changed. Although I can't confirm it because we haven't got the update on the consoles yet, it seems to be a thing in every FIFA where whenever they make the first update, things that weren't even changed seem to have changed, or so they say they haven't been changed at least. But anyway guys, this has been my opinion on why I think the update could kill FIFA 22 if EA aren't careful, but obviously I am hoping for the best. If you have enjoyed the video or found it informative, I would really appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up as that does really help me out. Also subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you all later. Peace.